must have weak forces but we know that water is a liquid forces are strong in water this is not the increasing order option b is air then we have is sugar that is solid and the c is written third part is written oil oil is liquid that means b is again the wrong option because solids are having stronger forces than that of liquid c option oxygen water and sugar look at the state oxygen is a gas very weak force water is liquid strong force sugar is solid quite strong forces the option is c correct option in d option first is salt salt is solid there are strong forces ice again solid air is gas it means d cannot be the answer the answer is going to be option c this question you can attempt by looking the values of the statement where we have gas liquid or solid state question number 11 a form of matter has no fixed shape but has a fixed volume is an example of this form of matter question number 10th option is c and now 11th question option here is b big top in this question we are having no fixed shape but a fixed volume no fixed shape but a fixed volume that means we are looking for a state called liquid liquids are not having fixed shape but they are having some fixed volume your options are a a option is written krypton krypton is a gas your option a is not the correct option because a is given as krypton symbol for krypton is kr and this is a gas b is kerosene this is the correct option because kerosene is going to be liquid kerosene is a liquid c is given as carbon steel carbon steel is basically a solid that is steel mixture of iron carbon and some other metal d option is carbon dioxide co2 carbon dioxide is again a gas so we are having liquid state is the answer option is b kerosene question number 12 which one of the following statements is not true it means now we have to look at for a incorrect option not true statement option a is the molecules in a solid vibrate about a fixed position that's a correct statement because in solid molecules cannot change their position they can just vibrate on their fixed positions these molecules in a liquid are arranged in a regular pattern that is the wrong option because in case of liquids molecules can move freely here and there but can't leave their boundary there is no regular arrangement of molecules the b is a wrong statement c is molecules in a gas exert negligibly small forces on each other except during collision that is <coughs> correct in case of gas molecules there is no force of attraction or very very small force of attraction between them these molecules of a gas occupy all the space available that's again correct because gases can take the whole space available to them the option b is beta that is incorrect option not true statement 12th question answer is beta question number 13 is which of the following processes release heat which of the following processes release heat 13th question your answer is c processes given are condensation vaporization melting freezing now we have the options in options we are having one of the process written as condensation second is written vaporizing vaporizing or vaporization then is melting then freezing these are the terms used in the options condensation means 
gas is condensed to give us liquid and we want to know that release of heat must be there so condensation is having heat released condensation is a process in which gases are converted into liquid heat is released during the process then is vaporization liquid is converted to gas process require heat so we can say heat is absorbed then we have melting melting is solid is converted to liquid heat is again absorbed and last is freezing freezing is liquid converted to solid in this case again liquid to solid heat is released now our option can be heat is released during two options condensation and freezing and these two are together written in option c so our, our option will be the most suitable one c option condensation and freezing these are leading to release of energy or heat 14th question question number 14 is Two sixty-eight Kelvin. Two sixty-eight Kelvin will be equal to dash degree Celsius. That is question number fourteen. Option valid is A. Now you must know the conversion of temperature from degree Celsius to Kelvin. If there are x degree Celsius plus two seventy-three, it will become dash. Kelvin. Let us suppose y Kelvin. In Kelvin, this value is given. In y is given to you as two sixty eight. In degree Celsius, this is x. This value you want to calculate x degree Celsius plus two seventy three. It means what is going to be the x value? Two sixty eight minus two seventy three. Your option becomes minus five degree Celsius. x comes out to be minus 5 option a now question number 15 process is requiring heat which of the following process require heating fusion condensation vaporization solidification question number 15 option s are given like we are having fusion that is melting that is condensation condensation next is vaporization and next is solidification solid to liquid to gas if we move forward heat is absorbed plus means absorbed heat it means when we say solid to liquid solid to liquid is fusion this process is fusion liquid to gas is vaporization gas to liquid backward is condensation and liquid to solid is solidification now we have which of the process require heating require heating means we should go forward it means fusion that means melting require heating correct then liquid to gas is vaporization require heating condensation is backward when process forward is required requiring heat backward will release heat it means answer cannot be condensation solidification again release of heat will be there 
कैन नॉट बी आंसर तो ऑप्शन आर वन एंड थ्री सी ऑप्शन वन एंड थ्री आर करेक्ट तो वन एंड थ्री करेक्ट ऑप्शन सी इज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन सिक्सटीन क्वेश्चन इवेपरेशन ऑफ वॉटर इंक्रीजेस अंडर द फॉलोइंग कंडीशन सिक्सटीन क्वेश्चन इवेपोरेशन ऑफ वॉटर सिक्सटीन वट इज इवेपोरेशन इवेपोरेशन इज अ प्रोसेस इन विच अ लिक्विड चेंजेस इन टू गैशियस स्टेट Evaporation depends on some important factors. Depends on number one temperature. And rule is higher is the temperature, faster will be evaporation. And you know that in summers. water evaporate very fast as compared to in winters number 2 evaporation depends on surface area more is the surface area more will be evaporation rate the rate of evaporation or speed of evaporation is directly proportional to surface area number 3 is humidity it depends on humidity also if humidity is more in the atmosphere lesser will be the rate of evaporation that's why in rainy days we are having very less evaporation because humidity level in the atmosphere is very high evaporation depends on temperature surface area humidity and also the intermolecular forces inter molecular forces stronger are the forces weaker or lesser will be the rate of evaporation now in this question evaporation of water increases under the following condition when we are given with a liquid water it means we are not going to discuss inter molecular forces because if these are two liquids we have to think about this the fourth factor we are not thinking about reason is only one liquid is given to us that is water now we have it will increase increasing temperature is correct option and another should be increasing surface area the option becomes increasing temperature and increasing surface area c is the correct option 16th question C is the correct option. Now we have seventeenth question with us. Seventeenth is maximum force of attraction between particles is present in seventeenth. Maximum force of attraction is present in which state? Solid, liquid, or gas? The answer is A option. Solids are having strongest forces of attraction as compared to liquids, and then in gases. with a minimum force of attraction is there in gaseous state question number 18 now 18 question is about three beakers a and b and c then there are three beakers given to you in the question have equal weight of solid liquid and gas in which beaker there will be more pressure to answer is gases if there are three beakers one is having solid second is having liquid and third is having gaseous state and these three are covered from upper side which one is going to develop more pressure the answer is gaseous state in case of liquid pressure will be less weight is equal pressure will be less reason is liquid can press only the base or the side walls but cannot affect this surface cannot have pressure on this grid as well as in this now we have solid state the minimum pressure will be there because particles can't move and strike on the walls solid state minimum pressure will be there the pressure will be maximum in which state 
gaseous state. Eighteenth question. Answer should be C. Nineteenth question. Latent heat of fusion. But the definition of latent heat of fusion is. Fusion is solid to liquid conversion. Fusion होता है melting, solid to liquid. And for latent heat of fusion, the amount of solid is constant. That is one gram. Latent heat of fusion is converting one gram of solid to a liquid at constant pressure. That is atmospheric pressure. So when we say what is latent heat of fusion, it is one gram solid is converted to liquid. At one atmospheric pressure, this amount is fixed one gram. This is called latent heat of fusion. Option is A. Nineteenth question. Answer becomes A. Twentieth question. Gases can be liquefied by. Twentieth question. Gases can be liquefied by. But a gas can be changed into a liquid state by applying high pressure and by giving low temperature. That means temperature below critical temperature. Above critical temperature, we can't liquefy a gas. We can liquefy a gas. Only below critical temperature. Question number twenty. If we want to liquefy a gas to liquid state, we want to change the gas into liquid state. We must apply high pressure and low temperature should be given. This low temperature should be below critical temperature because above critical temperature, liquefaction liquefaction of gas is not permissible or not possible. Thus, we can say. high pressure low temperature are the required conditions your options are increasing temperature not correct decreasing pressure that means low pressure is created correct answer increasing pressure again not is the answer both a and c again not the answer answer is b beta providing low pressure decreasing pressure the option is gases can be liquid The option will be. Its option is C. It is increasing. High pressure is written. The option becomes twentieth question. Option is high pressure. There is option C. Twenty-first question. Which of the following is not an element? Which of the following is not an element? Your options are A. Graphite. Option B is germanium. Option C is silica. Option D is silicon. Graphite is carbon. That is pure carbon, and it is element. Germanium is again element. Silica. And silicon. Silicon is S I. Again, elemental state. And silica is S I O two. This is a compound. This is basically formula of sand. Sand is a compound of S I O two, and it is having a structure. One silicon is bonded to four oxygen, and each oxygen is further bonded to silicon. And so on. This type of structure is there with sand. It is a solid state of SiO2. Giant network-like structure is there. Its structure is called giant structure. Network is formed. Three-dimensional network. The silica is not an element. Which of the following is? Not an element is the question. Top option becomes C. Twenty-first question. Answer is C. Twenty-second question. One of the following substances is neither a good conductor of electricity nor an insulator. A substance which is neither a good conductor 
nor insulator that means a semiconductor conductor is which can conduct electricity insulator is which cannot conduct electricity but semiconductor is neither a good conductor nor an insulator and the substance is semiconductor important examples of semiconductor are silicon and germanium here the option is given germanium b option is germanium the metal chromium is a metal it is a good conductor gallium gallium is semi uh, you can say metalloid potassium is again a metal germanium is a semiconductor right question number 22 your option will become b beta that is germanium 23 question number malleable and ductile best describes malleable and ductile best describes a metal metals